you can draw this in Procreate. I thought it was time for another character, so during this You Can Draw This video tutorial, we will be creating this face. As with all the You Can Draw This video tutorials, I will be guiding you through every single step. You don't need any experience with drawing or with Procreate at all. And the great thing is that you will be learning all about the features that are in Procreate while you follow this tutorial. As always, we'll be using free brushes only during this tutorial. We'll be using brushes that are already in the Procreate app and some brushes that you can find through freefromflow.com. There you can get a treasure chest full of awesome flow brushes. And yes, it's totally free. I have also dropped a link in the description to the color palette in case you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using during this tutorial. And of course, if you want to support this channel, then do leave a comment, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And of course, once you have reached the end of this tutorial, be sure to share your results. Share it on Instagram, tag me in the image, not just in the description. So that way I will be able to find your work and perhaps we'll see it in the next video. First of all, the canvas, it is 2300 pixels by 3000 pixels. We are going to use the symmetry tool. And you can turn that on by going to the wrench here in the upper left corner, then go to canvas, then turn on drawing guide and go to edit drawing guide. Then here at the bottom, you can turn on symmetry and then you can just click done here at the top. For the brush, we are going to use the monoline brush, which you can find under calligraphy. It's a Procreate standard brush. And for the color, we are going to use this first color in the first row. Make sure the opacity of the brush is set to 100% and I have the size set to 50%. And now we are going to draw the face. We are going to start about halfway to canvas, make a diagonal line like this. Then we'll change the angle a bit and then we'll make the lines touch here at the bottom. So you can see that this is the jawline. And here we have the chin. Now once you have this line, you can drag in the color like this to fill the shape. And of course, if needed, you can adjust the lines. You can use the eraser to adjust things, or you can go to the magic wand, then click liquify, have it set to push, and you can push and pull parts of the chin. Because sometimes it's just easier to adjust things that way than to make a line. If you tend to make wobbly lines, then this can be a bit easier. And then you can just click the magic wand again if you need to get out of that menu. I feel like the jawline is a little bit too angular, so I'm going to use the eraser. You can just click and hold the eraser to set it to the monoline brush as well. And I'll just make it look a little bit smoother. So you can adjust your face, well, or this face, until you are happy with it and you have a shape that looks like this. Now we are going to draw the neck. We are going to do that on a new layer. So we'll click the plus for a new layer and we are going to drag it underneath the face and we are going to set it to drawing assist. You can see that the layer is assisted now and that means that symmetry is working on this layer as well now. Let's go and grab a different color. We'll use this one, a second one. And let's draw a line. Well, we'll start about in the center of this half. We'll start about here and make a slightly curved line down. And then we can attach these two lines behind the face. You're not seeing it, but you need to attach it before you drag in the color to fill the shape. So now we have a very basic head. What we are going to do now is kind of new in the You Can Draw This video tutorial series. We are going to sketch before we continue. And we are going to do that on a new layer. We're going to the layer menu. We'll go to the top, first click layer one, then click the plus for a new layer. And let's go and grab a sketching brush. You can use any sketching brush you like. I'm going to the treasure chest brushes and I'm going to use the chalk pencil. And then you can just grab, you can grab this dark color or a gray. It doesn't really matter because we won't be seeing our sketch in the final artwork. Now for this brush that I'm using the chalk pencil, it's at 100% opacity and I have the size at 20%. Now first we are going to make some anchor points. We'll make a little line here at the bottom near the chin, just a little one. And then we'll make another one slightly up about here. 
And we're doing this so we'll get the right proportions for the face we'll be drawing later. And what we'll do is duplicate this layer. You can do that by swiping down with three fingers and then clicking duplicate. We are going to move this up. I have snapping turned on and then just drag it up until it's overlapping in this area. Then you can click the arrow again and we can merge these two layers. You can do that by pinching them together. Now the reason we're doing this is that the area of the nose and mouth and chin should be about the same height as the area between the nose and the eyebrows. So these little lines will be anchor points for us. Now we can lower the opacity of this layer a little bit. You can do that by clicking the end here and dragging it to the left. Let's go for about 40%. And then click the plus for a new layer on top. And here we'll be sketching. First, let's create a nose by just making an oval here on top of our well, little line that we got here. And it doesn't have to be tidy, it's a sketch. So no one will see it in the finished product. Now let's go for the eyes, but before we draw the eyes, let's turn on the symmetry tool. You can go to the layer menu, click layer four, and then turn on drawing assist. So we have symmetry turned on here. Now, when we draw the eyes, we can use this nose as an anchor point and go up just a little bit outside of that nose. Let's go about here. And then make an arched line going to the outside. You can make another line, another arched line underneath, closing that eye. And make sure that the width between the eyes is about the same width as one eye. So you can adjust it a little bit. So here we have the eyes. Now the eyebrows should be about at this height. Make an arched line. And this will just be an anchor point for our drawing later. So it doesn't need to be super tidy. And now for the mouth, let's turn off drawing assist again. So click the layer, turn off drawing assist, and let's make an imaginary line starting about here on the eye going down. And then let's make a little dot here. We'll do the same thing on the other side. We'll start about here, go down and make this one a little bit higher. Then we'll make a line attaching these two and the girl will have a slight smile with one corner of the mouth slightly up. And then we'll start here with the nose, go down a little bit and make a little like triangular shape here. And we can make an arch line underneath the lips here. That's the lower lip. And here we can attach the corners of the mouth with that little triangle. It's like a little bird shape. Right now with the sketch, you are in total control. For instance, I feel right now that the eyes, we could put them a little bit lower. And what you can do is just go to the S shape ribbon, use the freehand selection and select the eyes like this. Then you can go to the move tool. That's a little arrow. Then you can just move the eyes down slightly like this and then click the arrow again. Now we have some great anchor points to get started drawing. Let's go to the layer menu and merge these layers with the sketch and the little lines and let's lower the opacity. Let's set it to 40%. And now let's create a new layer on top by clicking the plus and let's turn on drawing assist here so we can use the symmetry tool. And let's get started with the eyes. For the brush, we are going to the calligraphy brushes and use the chalk brush. I have the opacity set to 
And let's set the size to 12%. And for the color, we'll use this sixth color in the second row. And now we are going to use the sketch that we have just made and follow this line to create the top eyelid. To create this line, and you can just follow your sketch or you can make it a little bit different. You don't have to follow your sketch exactly. And of course you can rotate your canvas a little bit. Sometimes it's easier to put it in this angle making it easier to make an arch like this. Follow it all the way to the right. And then you can make some eyelashes. Just a few, perhaps two or three. And you can make the top part a little bit thicker, so I'll go over this again. And now we are going to make a new layer underneath this layer. So first you can click layer three, then click the plus for a new layer. And again, turn on drawing assist so you can use symmetry. And for the brush, let's use the monoline brush. And for the color, we are going to use the second color in the second row. And we are going to create the white of the eye. So let's follow the line we have just created. Like this. And then we'll go from this side to the right. You can see it's, it's a little bit wobbly. So let's rotate our canvas. Follow that line again to make it smoother. And then you can drag in the color to fill it. Now we are going back to layer four and we'll switch back to that dark color, that sixth color in the second row and we'll switch back to the chalk brush. And now let's make a little line around the lower eyelid. Don't make it too thick. And just in this area, to about here. We'll leave this area and this area will leave that blank. And we can also give an extra touch to that upper eyelid, make it even thicker. Make the eyelashes a little bit thicker. Like this. Now let's go and grab a different color. Let's grab this one over here. That's the fifth color in the first row. And let's make a little line above our, well, above our lashes line. Leave a little bit of space and then just follow that arch. You can rotate your canvas again. Just follow that arch. And this is that crease that you see above your upper eyelid. And this will give a little bit of volume to the eye. You don't have to go all the way to the right, just to about two third. Something like this. Now let's create the irises. We'll do that on a layer on top of layer five. We'll click the plus for a new layer and we are going to set this layer to layer clipping mask. Click the layer, turn on clipping mask and now whatever we draw on this layer will only show up on that white of the eye. Let's also turn on drawing assist so we have symmetry turned on. And for the color, let's pick this color over here, the fourth color in the second row. And now let's grab the monoline brush again. And we are going to draw a circle. Draw a circle, hold your pen in place to make it snap to the quick shape and then hold one finger on the screen to make it snap to a perfectly round circle. Make it about this big, then go to edit shaper at the top and you can move it around a little bit until it's placed about here and then you can drag in the color to fill your shapes. 
Now let's add a pupil. We'll switch to this color over here, the sixth color, and we'll make another circle. Hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen to make it snap to a quick shape and perfect circle. Then go to edit shape to be able to move it around. We'll place it about here. Then click the brush and color the pupil in by hand. Make sure you fill it entirely. And now go to the layer menu, click the layer, layer six, and turn on alpha lock. So you won't be able to paint outside of this shape. We are going to the painting brushes and use the gouache brush. And for the color, we will use this color, the fifth color in the second row. The opacity of this brush is set to 100% and the size is at 18%. And now let's go over the top area of these eyes. Adding some color variation and also some shadow because light is coming from the top and it's casting a shadow here. That upper eyelid is blocking the light here. Now we are going to create another layer on top of this one. We'll click the plus and again, we will use clipping mask. So whatever we paint here, it'll only show up on the white of the eye and also on these irises and pupils. We are going to change the layer blending mode. Let's click the N, go up and set it to multiply. For our brush, we are going back to the calligraphy brushes and use the monoline brush. And for the color, we will use this color over here, the third color in the second row. Let's also set this layer to symmetry. So we'll click the layer and turn on drawing assist. Now start in this corner of the eye and make an arched line to the right side, like this. Now close the shape and then drag in the color to fill it. Now we have even more shadow that is cast on the eye by the upper eyelid. Let's also add some highlights. Let's make a new layer for that. So click the plus. For the color, we are going to use this first color in the second row. Now let's make a circle over here. Hold your pen in place to make it snap to a quick shape. Then one finger on the screen to make it snap to a perfectly round circle and color it in. Then a smaller one over here. And now let's duplicate this and drag it to the left side. We can do that by swiping down with three fingers and clicking duplicate. And now we can drag it onto the other eye and have it at the same height. And you shouldn't be using symmetry here because the light is coming from above or from this direction in this case, hitting this eye over here and hitting this eye over here. So always put those highlights on the same side. Then click the arrow again to get out of this menu and we can merge these layers by pinching them together. Now let's make a new layer on top of all the others. Let's click the plus and for the brush, let's go back to the chalk brush. And for the color, we will use this dark color again, that sixth color in the color palette. And now let's draw the eyebrows. We are going to draw the eyebrow here on the right side, a bit lower. Let's start about here above the corner of the eye, not too high. And let's make an arch line like this and make it a little bit thicker just near that corner of the eye and make it thinner as you go outwards. And then let's make some slight lines going up to suggest some hairs. Now I find it easier to work from left to right. So I want to, I want to create the other eyebrow in the same way. So let's flip our canvas. We can do that by going to the wrench, then to canvas and then flip canvas horizontally. Now we can easily make this eyebrow with the same movement. I'm going to place this one a little bit higher because our girl, she has a slight frown. Make it thinner towards the outside and a little bit thicker over here. And then again, I'll make some upward strokes, adding some slight hairs. And then we can flip it back by going to the wrench and click flip canvas horizontally again. 
Now we are going to add some lines for the nose. Let's turn on symmetry for that. So we'll click layer nine, turn on drawing assist. And now we can create the nose. You can use that little circle that we created as a guide. Let's create a diagonal line here. And then a diagonal line this way. And make, make sure that the top one is a little bit longer than the bottom one. And I will make a nostril by just making a small horizontal line. Then let's move to the mouth. Let's turn off drawing assist to do that. Let's turn off symmetry. So click the layer, click drawing assist. And then let's create these corners of the mouth. We'll use our sketch as a guide. One over here and one over here. And then we'll make a line in between with a slight curve because she has a slight smile. You can make it a little bit thicker in this area and in this area, but make it thin near the center and towards the outsides. Now it's time for some shading. Let's do that on a layer on top of the face layer. Let's go to layer one, then click the plus for a new layer. And let's turn on clipping mask so our paint will only show up on the face. For our brush, let's go to the painting brushes again and use the gouache brush. For the color, we are going to use this color over here. The opacity is still at 100% and the size is at 15%. And let's add some shadow here underneath the eyebrows. You can make multiple strokes, adding the shadow there because the eyebrow is also casting a bit of a shadow underneath there. The same goes for the eyebrow on this side. Add a little bit of shadow, use multiple strokes, slowly building that up. Let's do the same thing for the nose. But let's make the brush a little bit smaller. Let's go for 7%. And we'll add a little shadow just underneath that area where the little line is. And also make a semicircle here underneath the nose. So make that area slightly darker, just underneath the nostrils. And let's also add a little shadow here underneath the lower lip. Again, a little bit of a semicircle. And then let's move on to the lips. Let's pick another color. Let's pick this one, the sixth color in the color palette. Let's make the brush a bit bigger again. Let's say 10%. And follow your sketch lines to make these upper lips. Make a rounded shape. You don't have to be too tidy here at the bottom. We can remove that later. So something like this, then you can grab the eraser and go along that edge to tidy it up there. And then let's make a new layer underneath this one. So first we'll click layer one, then click the plus for a new layer. And let's grab this color over here. That's the seventh color. We'll still use the gouache. And I will make the lower lip. And this is lighter than the upper lip because remember the, the light is coming from the top. So this lip will be a little bit in shadow and light will be hitting that lower lip. So when light is coming from above, always make the upper lip slightly darker than the lower lip. You can make the brush a little bit smaller, let's say 5% to go towards the corners a bit. I wanna go back to layer 10, grab that shadow color, that fifth color, 
and make the shadow underneath the lower lip just a little bit darker. Because the lower lip, it'll cast a little shadow there. All right, at this point, I think we can turn off the sketch layer. That's layer three over here. And let's also turn off that symmetry line. We'll go to the wrench, then to canvas and turn off the drawing guide. Now we'll go to layer one. Let's turn off symmetry there because it's, it's still turned on. Even though you can't see the line anymore, you can see the layer is still assisted. So symmetry is still turned on. So let's click it and turn off drawing assist. Then click it again and turn on alpha lock. So when we paint on this layer, our paint will only show up on that face and not on that checkerboard area. For our brush, we are going to use a treasure chest brush and we'll be using the spackle it brush. And for the color, we are going to use this second color in the first row. The opacity of the brush is at 90%. And let's set the size to 50%. And now we'll go over the nose area and the cheeks, giving our character a nice blush and some nice texture. So we'll just go over the cheek areas, the nose, making these rounded motions. And let's also add a little touch to the forehead. Just some nice texture there. So nose area, cheek area, and the forehead just a little bit. Now we'll switch to the third color, that lighter color. Let's make the brush a little bit smaller. Let's say 30% and now we'll add some light to the top of the nose because the light is coming from the top and it's hitting her nose here. Making rounded motions. You can also add a little bit of light to these eyelids and a little bit of light to the chin here. Some light could be hitting here. And you can also add a little touch just above the eyebrows because these are also protruding a little bit. So some light could be hitting there. Then for an extra touch, I would like to use the fourth color over here. It's a slightly bluish greenish color. We are going to add it to the sides of her face for a secondary light. And on this side as well, just along the edges. It's as if some light is reflecting from the bottom and giving our piece a bit more interest. Now let's move to the neck layer. That's layer two here at the bottom. Let's click it and turn on alpha lock here as well. I'm going to keep it assisted. So symmetry is still turned on. We'll still be using the spackle brush and let's first grab the first color over here to make that neck a little bit lighter. I'm going to set it to 50% and let's just go over the neck adding this nice texture and lightening it at the same time. Then let's move to that gouache brush, which is part of the painting brushes. There it is. Let's grab the fifth color in the color palette and let's add a little bit of shadow underneath the chin because that head, it's definitely blocking the light. Let's make the brush a little bit bigger. Let's go for 20% for a nice shadow here. Which is slowly fading a little bit towards the bottom. And it's quite dark here near the chin. Now it's time for some hair. We are going to make a new layer on top of all the others. So first click layer nine, then click the plus. And for the brush, we'll use the chalk brush again under calligraphy. And for the color, let's use this color over here, that first color in the third row. Our brush is at 100% opacity and the size is at 13%. Now let's make a rounded shape over here. Start about here, make a rounded shape. And let's just color it in by hand. That way we get some nice texture 
and coloring in by hand is just quite relaxing. Now let's make another rounded line, another rounded shape. Here at the top we'll start, well, almost in the center, a little bit to the right of the eyebrow. And we'll make a swooping motion going that way. And again, let's color it in by hand. Color the entire shape and it'll leave that nice textured edge. So these are the two shapes you need right now. Let's go back to the layer menu, click this layer and then turn on alpha lock so we won't be painting outside of these shapes when we paint. And we are going to grab a brush from the treasure chest. We are going to use the smudgy hairbrush. And for the color, we will be using that fifth color here in the color palette. The brush is at 100% opacity and let's set the size to 60%. And now let's follow the hair shape, let the hair flow and make these wavy lines to add some hair texture. On this side as well, just make these rounded shapes to add some hair texture. Now we'll make a new layer on top of this layer. So we'll click the plus again and we'll, we'll repeat this step. So we'll go back to that chalk brush and we'll use this color again, that first color in the third row. And now we are going to start about here and make a swooping line going down, covering a little bit of the eyelashes. Let's color it in. And let's do the same on this side. We'll start a bit to the left over here and we'll make another swooping line covering the eyebrow a little bit here. And just color it in by hand like this. And now let's add some texture again. So first we'll need to turn on alpha lock. Then we need to grab the hairbrush. That's the smudgy hair and then pick this fifth color here to start adding that hairy texture. Just follow that flow of the hair. So make curved lines here all the way to the top like that and then we'll make a new layer again for some more hair so collect the plus for a new layer go and grab that chalk brush under calligraphy and use this first color in the third row now first let's start here a little bit to the right from this piece of hair and we'll make a swooping motion going to the right the camera is in the way Let's color it in. This is awkward. I'm going to push it away. This is better. All right, it's all colored in. You can come back now. And now let's make a line. We'll make a swooping line all the way down. We'll start about here and we'll make a wavy line to here, then back up like this. And now let's color it in again. And here at the top as well. Now it's time to add texture again. So let's turn on alpha lock. Let's go back to the hairbrush. And let's use this color again, that darker color, fifth color in the second row. You need to move again. And let's follow the flow of the hair. like this 
and on the other side as well. All the way down. And now let's add some color variety. Let's also add some lighter strokes. Let's use that second color in the third row for that. And for instance, let's add some lighter strokes here. Still following the shape of the hair. That flow of the hair. Some lighter strokes here. And let's do the same for layer 13 over here. Just a few light strokes. And a few here on the lower side. And let's go to layer 12. Let's add some light here near the top part of the hair. And perhaps a little bit over here as well. Now we are going to make a new layer. We'll click the plus and we'll drag this layer all the way to the bottom. And we are going to fill it with a hair color. We'll use that first color over here, drag it onto the layer. And now let's add some texture here. We still have a smudgy hairbrush. And let's grab that dark color again, the fifth color. And let's just draw some hair. Just some vertical strokes on both sides. You can come back by the way. All right, just vertical strokes. Now we can add a little bit of extra shadow there. We can make a new layer on top by clicking the plus and let's set this to multiply. So click the end, then go up to multiply. And for the brush, let's go and grab the soft brush under airbrushing. And we can stick with this color. The opacity is at 60% and the size is at 25%. And let's go over the top area on both sides to darken those areas a little bit. Now all we need is a little bit of shadow on the face. Let's do that by creating a layer underneath the hair, but on top of all the other layers. Let's go to layer nine, click the plus. Let's set this layer to multiply as well. So click the end, then go up to multiply. And for the brush, let's use that gouache brush again. And for the color, we will use this color over here. That's the seventh color in the second row. Now let's make the brush a little bit smaller. Let's go to 10% and let's Add some shadow underneath the hair. I'm using very little pressure, by the way. The harder you press with this brush, the more opaque the stroke becomes. And I want it to be a little bit transparent. If you are having trouble with that, you can always just lower the opacity of the brush. So just follow the hair and add a slight line right next to it to add that shadow. Over here as well. And over there, that camera never has been that much in the way. All right, and a line over here. So that hair, that's casting a shadow on the face. And that's it, actually. You have made it till the end. Let me invite the camera back in. I hope you have enjoyed following this tutorial, creating a face. Please be sure to let me know in the comments what type of tutorials you prefer, what you would like to see next. Like I said earlier, I'm always open to suggestions. I would like to thank you for watching. I will see you next time for the next You Can Draw This video tutorial.